Now we're going to go into some different grips, okay? Once they're down, how do we keep them down until they start to rise up through the danger zones where we can get an attack? There's a couple different ones, of course. So the one we already touched upon a little bit is, is my favorite one, which is handshake grip to the elbow, hand around the neck, okay? Now there's really no sense doing it if he's already postured all the way up, like all the way up? Yeah, like it's not really going to do anything. In the gear, you know, you can try to bring them down here, but the neck is what we need. So the lapel grip, you know, the nice high lapel grip, or even the cross lapel grip, that's just this. That's all this is. Okay? The hook around the neck. That's what that translates to for no gi. All right, the sleeve grip here where you put your thumb in and fold it back and lock, that's just this. Okay, we're just grabbing here or here. Here or here, depending on what you're doing. If you're going triangles and stuff, you can punch it here, here. For things like arm drags and whatever, it's this way. So that's all that is, okay? Pac-Man, C-grip on the elbow. So I can grip the elbow here. Never on the elbow, because he can rip that right out too easily. Always make a wall, okay? You're making a wall behind his elbow, so when he tries to pull it out, it doesn't go anywhere. If I'm on it, he rips it out. If I'm too high, I don't really have a good grip. If it slip off, right above, two inches above the elbow. Pac-Man grip, grab and make the wall. So as he rips out, nothing, okay? Same thing on the wrist. We're not gonna go up on the forearm where he's all thick. We wanna to go to the smallest part so our fingers could actually touch and wrap around. That's what we want. Okay, these are all basic grips. And on the neck, we're not gonna go on the crown of the head like a Muay Thai clinch, because he just pushes my hand off and his head, especially if he's sweaty, he slips right out. Okay, it's not gonna be on the, the bottom here. It's too much mass, okay? I wanna put my hand around his neck where if he did do what he just did and arched up, it makes a nice U for me to hook into. Because that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna try to posture up. So I wanna be able to, as he's posturing, I'm gonna be able to slow him down, okay? If I do get him in, another one I like to do, it's always the neck, but overhook of the arm. And we're gonna get into some of this stuff a little later in different combinations of it. Okay, they call this like the Williams guard or whatever. I just call it a super, Super overhook, okay? Boom, we got the overhook stuff. Okay, elbow, if he starts putting his hand on me, we can go head wrist, head elbow. We can go double wrist grip, double elbow grip. I don't really know if you'd ever do double neck grip because now I can't really sweep him or submit him. I need at least a head grip and an arm grip to get a sweep or a submission. Okay, you're not gonna get many submissions here because you're just covering the posture, but you're not doing anything to any of his limbs. Okay, overhook, this is great. Double overhook, eh. Now he can posture his head up, and if he can posture his head up, he can slip his arms out. So I wouldn't do that. So I'm just trying to show you some common mistakes, but always a head grip and some kind of elbow, wrist grip, overhook grip. Okay, and the final one is just double insides. All right, my coach, my coach Rob Codd really likes this one a lot. This is uh, one for definitely for MMA. You can get a lot of omoplatas here, triangles, different things like that. Okay, but if he swims back inside, you know, we just got to keep playing that swim game. But this is good for defending punches. If he tries to punch me in the face, he can't now. He tries to punch me in the face. Yeah, no, he can't. You know, and eventually things, good things can happen from it. Okay, so those are some of the no-gi grips when you're on the bottom.